In this version 1.5, Asdaha will be released as a weekly boss in the Trolls domain beneath the Dragon Coiler. In the trailer, we can see that Rex Lapis is fighting the Asdaha alone, which can be stated that we have a chance to see Rex Lapis in action after what happened to the Ocel the Overlord of the Vortex. It looks like Chong is gonna have a new storyline here with a super tough looking dragon to fight. And I really look further for Chong Li art in this one. What about the reaction of the Adeptai when they know Rex Lapis is still alive? Or maybe we can see the actual true power of Rex Lapis in this 1.5. So basically, there was a girl standing under a tree, mumbling about the alchemy of some most awe-inspiring individual. Beneath the tree, or as it's called, the Dragon Coiler, is the cavern where Asdaha was sealed away. Despite taking the form of a young girl, Chiu seems to be much older than she appears. She speaks about humans as if she isn't one of them, and mentions even that happened thousands of years in the past. She also described Rex Lapis is an usurper. She talks about an ancient being that has been trapped under the tree by the Adeptai thousands of years ago, and tell players that its destruction is coming soon. A nearby stone tablet indicates that being is the evil dragon of Asdaha, from what we see in the 1.5 trailer. Evil Dragon Asdaha was so oppressed and trapped in the tree by the Adeptai to preserve life in the world. However, this being is slowly consuming the tree and becoming one with it, giving a section of the three blue veins and ghostly blue branch. When the dragon emerges, it will entirely consume the tree and absorb the energy of all the ley lines in the world. And did you know that if we report about the Chiu kid of Nathan Man to the guards, the guard will say it's just a lost kid that hallucinating from the book she must have been reading. The guard said he will send some people to bring the child back to the city at once because of the earthquake and monsters. The guard even also mentioned that they mustn't let that child come to harm anyone. Did they know this child is a species in the first place? There's actually two theories about the kid in Nantian Man. Chiu might be not a human, or she's been hypnotized by the dragon for so long to get some information and to unseal him so he can escape. So what do you choose? Comment down below. The 5 star climber the Unforged tells the story of this dragon and confirms it is the Chi of Guyan. There used to be a mountain-sized geo-dragon, evolved geo -fisher, that lived in Antian Man. It was massive and every time it moved, it caused devastating earthquakes in the way, killing everyone. A long time ago, a dragon there was to be found in the way, a dragon that soared the skies but one whose abode was the mountains. Indeed, this ancient dragon of stone was large, was as large as the very mountains it called home. The legends say that it slumbered in an animal, seeming not all that unlike the surrounding hills. But when it awakened, even the tiniest movement or the slightest stretch that would cause the earth to tremble and shake. Then, Rex Lapis came before the dragon. Seeking to stop the earth spoiling. They say that for a long while, the land knew peace, and that Rex Lapis gained another comrade by his side. And in version 1.5, we are going to encounter the Geo Dragon that used to escape Chong Li Seal for two times. It shall be so strong knowing the Geo Dragon escaped Chong Li Seal for two times. Straight now, I hope we have the chance to see the Rex Lapis in action. So what do you guys think? Comment down below. Alright guys, that's it for the video and hope you enjoy it and if you do, give a thumbs up. And if you don't, give a dislike on this video. And my name is Yamasip.
and I see you in the next video. Now enjoy the Frisian 1.5 trailer that of course you already watch, but just to make the video duration extended, just enjoy. If it is fated, we will meet again. It must have been about four or five days ago. There were a few men who came through here carrying baskets and picks. I guess that could have been them. And there was a child staggering in front of them. This is I, Aztaha! Forged of Elemental Crystal! The enraged Earth will not absolve you! You stand upon your tomb! Quake! There is a fine line between good and evil. This is order! It was humanity that attacked the ley lines that sustained me! So here lies the wisdom of the gods! To dust! Hey, wait a minute. Does this count as martial arts? Ready for trial! Incinerate! Breath of the flame! Inadmissible evidence! Well, I guess I've mastered both the pen and the sword. People tell me that if I just spoke more softly, others may find it easier to forgive me. But the only reason they think that way is because they've never been branded a pariah before. I condemn you! Freeze to the core! Eye for an eye! Vengeance will be mine! This serenity pot is all yours now. Oh, you needn't worry about that. I've already arranged for a certain little helper to await you within this teapot. She will explain everything you need to know about it.